Hey everybody, I'm straight into chapter 3, and for a penny and for a pound and all that. It'll be a day for you, but it has been 5 minutes for me. I was doing my bits and bobs to get the video un uploaded, and I realised, why is this taking an hour and 45 to upload? And I looked at the file size of the previous video, and it was 27 gigabytes. Aha! Okay, so... Forgive me for a few more pauses in this one. <laughs> Nope, 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 I fucked up again, I didn't mean the chapter selection, chapter 3. Cool, there's content warnings in this one, so yes. Ah, <coughs> uh, the good old leave you so content. Mouse, be gone! Bah! Bim, 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 bim. Barbara should come through, give us the hug. Ba Barbara. <coughs> Sorry, the lady held slave. Julia, you made it. End of chapter two. I love it when you use your inhaler and it works for five minutes and then you need to go again. I don't like how it's putting me straight into a save, that's worrying. Guns? As Neron Father Barbathiel has assigned us a new purification task. Facility where Project Messiah have taken place, so be ready. We'll have to purify some automatons and other abominations. Hey you, must be Lunar Recruit. What's your name? What's your name? Name's Bebop, sir. Great honor to be part of your unit. More than that, being a Nexus is a blessing and a great responsibility. You hear that means Father Barbathiel saw something in you. You better don't let him down. I'll do my best. Your best? No, you're not supposed to give your best. It's supposed to give everything. Even your life, if needs be. Don't forget that. We are our father's sword and fists. We must always honour him. I still do my best. Jeez. We will arrive soon. Get ready. Fussy pants. Oh, I should have put in, like, scalpel or something. It's split into two groups, Bebop. Come with me. We'll take care of the robot mothers. The rest of you will take care of the basement. Enjoy! Oh, that means scalpel man's here. Come on, move. Need to get rid of the robot mothers. Hang on. Shotgun. That might have actually helped with the file size of the previous one. Whatever. Whatever. I forgot that was a thing. There is more skulls around. Why is there more skulls around? Ah, the clones. They look like a... We're supposed to kill them? Yes, but first we need to get rid of the hostiles. Destroy the clones before leaving. That'll be pretty easy. Something wrong, Bebob? Captain? These clones were created in order to find a new messiah. Decades of experiments, clones being tortured and killed over and over again. Your point is? Why would our father cancel the project? We still need a new messiah. The messiah spoke to our father. She told him we need to stop looking for the messiah. The messiah said we must welcome and embrace the second apocalypse. The messiah will guide our actions and give us a purpose. You question the messiah's will? You know what happens to traitors and sinners? Of course not, I just... I'll give you a second chance since you knew, but remember, there won't be a third one. Understood, sir. I am more than willing to blow your face away, pal. But you just watch yourself, all right? Move, we can't waste any more time. Can't stop wondering why the Messiah wants to embrace the second apocalypse. She was the one who wanted a successor to stop it. Why would she change her mind? Because it's a bullshit. It's total bullshit. There is no Messiah. It's just your fucking father. 
Where do you think you're going? Take care of the robot mothers. Buddy, I'll get news for you. You yourself knew I was new. You could have given me some directions. Did you go? Fuck off. Arsehole. You're an arsehole. Do I have an icon? I do! Hi, bud. Intruders detected. Intruders must be eliminated. Robot mothers, they are truly magnificent. Too bad we have to destroy them. The mothers are coming. Crap. Open fire! Hell, I'm in it. Seem pretty skilled with the shotgun. It's far from over. Come on, let's go. See, now I feel good that I called them Bebop because in a video game it's genuinely a shotgun I would go for. Father Barbathia would be proud. Radio, sir. Captain speaking, report your status. We need help. This thing's killing us. Scalpel. Damn it, they're in trouble. It's either the super mutant or Oh Wow we went ham, did we not? Jeez. Just either Mr. Scalpel or the Super Mutant. I might as well skip this because it's not going to be any grand revelations. I'm redoing that scene. Run, little bee mom. Run. Maybe once just clock him right in the jaw. Just, just to feel it. Just to, just to see him in pain. No? Okay. Need to say about these ones? the buddies. Is this little buddy okay? Oh no. I'm sad now. That's the one that needed help. Well, they all fucking need help, but that's the one that reached out for help. Skeleton. Messiah's name happened here. They stood no chance. Whatever got them must have been really strong. I'm gonna find a monster that did this, and I'm gonna blow its head off. What makes you think you're gonna be any better than the like six or so other units you sent here, armed the same way? I better go after them. Fucking hero complex dumbass. Free shotgun? Oh, it still has the hands attached, right. Now that's less than ideal. <laughs> Scalpel. Too late. That's a good question. No, it wasn't Scalpel. It was Super Mutant. Supposed to be one of the failed clones. What should I do? Run like a coward or face it? Wait until it's vulnerable. Get close to it and press Z. Enter. Left click. Uh, none of those buttons are on my control pad. Eek! I don't. I know. Right, I need uh, settings. Always run. On. Okay. Okay, now I can. D pad. None of that's not, not, not the right words. No, no, why? Why is it not working? Um. No, no, kill me. <laughs> I 
My bones! I needed those bones! Is that supposed to be one of the failed clones? What should I do? Press Z. Enter. Okay. Right, okay. Enter is working. Oh, it's just X, isn't it? Fuck off, mouse. If that's the case, I no longer need. I was overthinking it because I was panicked, okay? Sorry. That was my bad. Come on, numbnuts. Pop. Julia, it's fine. I'm trying to stop the pain for once. Not that you can really trust anybody in a cult. Come on, buddy. Good thing we have this, like, magic short-range shotgun that can only fire point-blank and doesn't run out of ammo. Is it dying? Does it look like it's dying? It kind of just looks like it's having a boogie. Boogie Yogi. I did it. Did you but uh Buddy? Buddy. Buddy? I thought you were a hallucination. What do you mean you were inside the Julius? Hello, Bebop. Hi. You're not like your teammates. You have doubts. You question the patterns. I've been waiting for someone like you. This body isn't very helpful, so I'm afraid I'll have to borrow yours. Well, I uh, apologize in advance for the pain you'll experience, as long as you can give it back in one piece, I suppose. How do you know my name? I'm an angel. I'm here to end this world. Oh, that was just opening right fan. Dabby-dabulous. Mouse. Fuck off, I said. You managed to reach the attic just like I told you. Though, this is actually the first time we meet each other. First time we meet each other? What do you mean? I already met you that night. I met a Julia, but it wasn't you. That Julia died that night. I wondered about the stairs, but still. That was two years ago. What? I don't understand. You saw the other clones, right? Why did they clone me? Juliet. Don't you get it? You're a clone too. You are created from the cells of the Messiah. What? That can't be true. You and the other clones were created for the sole purpose of making a new Messiah. Hundreds of Julius have died throughout the years. No, I know who I am. I can't be a clone. For some reason, you retain the memories of all the previous clones. That's why you managed to escape. You had all their memories, including my words. Your words encouraged me to... Reach the attic and find the truth. I'm glad my actions led to this outcome. So I'm just a clone, not the real Julia. I know it must be hard to accept the truth, but you need to be strong. You're our last hope. Your last hope? What do you mean? You ought to become our new messiah and stop the second apocalypse. When I was told you were here, my heart was filled with joy. Everything has happened just as she told me. She? What are you talking about? Julia, I'm guessing. Oh no, they're coming to take you. I need to get you out of this place. Take me? Where? Come on, follow me. We need to get out of here. But once we get out of here, you need to tell me everything. Do not kill. Quick! We need to reach a door to the right. However. Skellington. Yeah, what's that? Someone has to endure significant amounts of torture before being put out of the misery. Is it another Julia? Skellingtons! What a lovely skull room you have. Do 
She escaped. I need to alert the father. Why do you have to be so murder happy? Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Not my face again. My face. Uh, this poor person. I mean, if you're going to put him on a stick, you might as well have turned him into a lamp. Come on now. Right, oh. Where's Father Barbathiel? leader of the cult. He's also my biological father. Your biological father? I'll explain everything. First, we need to get to my room. We'll be safe there. Your room? Aren't we supposed to escape? I gotta show you something. So, I'm guessing things have gone to shit. Right? The reason I'm guessing that things have gone to shit, and they hear me out, is because... I think the Messiah doesn't actually speak to Barbathiel anymore. Instead, they speak to Julia. Barbathiel, not Julia, sorry, Barbara. And Barbathiel doesn't like not being the one that's the special snowflake anymore. And has decided to go full genocide and change the rules to fit his own narrative so he can stay the leader of the cult. Something like that, right? We'll see, though. The room's upstairs. But what if? Kitchen? the garden. Okay. Bathroom? Nope. Um, fine. I saved it recently. Ah. You know, fun. Where's your sense of adventure, Barbara? You think I hadn't already been murdered 17 times before? There's a big face. There's a real big face. There's a cute face. Okay, but you could, you could help me a little. Which which one am I going to? We made it. Oh, sorry, I had to break there. I just had the world's worst yawn I think I've ever had. You said you'd tell me everything. You must have so many questions. You must be so confused. I found some dust in the laboratory. They mentioned something about a messiah, a cult, and the apocalypse. Listen, happened a hundred years ago. There was a girl named Julia who loved horror and lived with her mum, the original Julia. One night, Julia was alone. Her mum was at the store, and Julia was taking care of house chores. A deformed maniac escaped the local asylum and visited Julia's neighbourhood. He killed a neighbour, Mr. Roberts, and a young woman named Molly by using a scalpel. Then, he managed to get into Julia's house and attacked her. He left her for dead, but she actually survived. By the time the police arrived, he was gone. He meant missing during decades, until the cult found him in some sewers. At the moment, is that the same maniac who's been trying to kill me? Exactly. The maniac used in Project Messiah is the same maniac from a hundred years ago. He definitely isn't human. He's great at killing clones of the Messiah. What happened to Julia? She survived the attack, then what? Apparently, the traumatic experience awakened her dormant abilities. Telepathy, telekinesis, and clairvoyance. One day, her miracles were witnessed by a group of people. They realised she was a messiah they had been waiting for. One of the people was my great-grandfather. They founded a cult, and soon a lot of people joined it. During many years, the cult and the messiah lived in peace in a community hidden from the tainted world. However, one day, the messiah made an announcement. The apocalypse was coming. Although she managed to stop it, millions and millions died. Many survived. Survivors joined the cult. Shortly after the apocalypse, the messiah's body began to rot. Her arms and legs couldn't be saved. But the worst part is that she lost her powers. Before her clairvoyance disappeared, she managed to predict a second apocalypse. Then, she fell into a deep coma. By that time, the cult was led by my grandfather. Great grand... Uh, grandfather, sorry, yeah. My, my head really wanted to say great grandfather, but I was reading grandfather, said grandfather, and I still thought it was wrong. Anyway... 
He told everyone that we need a new messiah. That's why they created the laboratory and the simulation house. Ours of the messiah awakened after a near-death experience. So the goal was to make a new messiah in the same way through a near-death experience. Most of the time, they used that scary man with the scalpel. So me and the other Julius had to suffer until one of us became a new messiah. Exactly. However, after my grandfather died and my father became the new leader, the project was sabotaged. Sabotaged? My father didn't want a new messiah, so he sabotaged the robot mothers. The mothers killed the scientists and took over the project. Although they continued the simulations, the project would never work. Some deaths and events made no sense at all. Some clones were killed by the mother shortly after they woke up. There would never be a messiah that way, but my father managed to keep it a secret. I don't get it. Why doesn't your father want a new messiah? My father believes the second apocalypse mustn't be stopped. He says the world is too attainted, far beyond salvation. We must, we all must embrace the second apocalypse and perish. He even lied to everyone. He says the messiah wanted us to embrace the apocalypse, but that's a lie. What about you? You've been helping me. Two years ago the messiah spoke to me. Messiah? Isn't she in a coma? Did she lose her purpose? I know. Somehow she managed to reach my mind. She said I had to go to the facility and tell the clone to reach the attic. And that's what I did. I managed to sneak into the simulation house and told the clone about the attic. Unfortunately, the scientists found me. They told my father, and he was really mad. As a punishment, my uterus was from... You're what? Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what she said. You're what? But I don't regret it. I'll do anything for the messiah. Messiah wanted one of us to get out of the lab. Why? She didn't tell me why. She said you can be the new messiah. You need to reach her. She'll tell you what to do. She'll help you become the new messiah. What's wrong? Don't you want to save the world? Don't you want to be a messiah? I get it. You're still processing everything. It must be hard knowing you're not who you thought you were. The other Julias were doomed. But you can change your fate. You can transcend. The world has lost hope. The people are losing their faith. We're running out of time. The apocalypse is at hand. My father only cares about torturing sinners and blasphemers. Please, Julie. Everything is heaven for a reason. The Messiah sacrificed herself for everyone. We can't let that sacrifice go to waste. You said the Messiah lost her limbs and her powers after she stopped the first apocalypse, right? Yes. If I become a Messiah, will that happen to me too? No, that wouldn't happen. The Messiah said you'll be safe. Is that true? My existence was a lie. Should I trust the Messiah? Please, the Messiah would never lie. If it wasn't because of the Messiah, you'd be dead right now. See? She's on your side. I guess you're right. You and the Messiah are the only ones who have tried to help me. Will you do it then? Will you meet the Messiah and become her successor? Mm, jump for the window. I don't care about the world, the Messiah, and the Apocalypse. I just want to wake up. Splat. There's no more waking up, is there? Oh, come on, they give me the option, I have to. Julia. Julia! Oh? I wasn't expecting this to actually go somewhere. Uh, I've just become a broken clone. Ending one. Loop. Well, that's just sad, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. Go to credits. Okay. I'll do it. I'll become the new messiah. It makes me so happy. I knew it. You'll save this world. The messiah will be proud of you. Where is they? Where are the messiah? Look through the window. What? See that building with a cross at the top? Messiah's being kept there. 
building is being guarded by the cult, but I know you can do it. You'll find a way to reach her. With the use of save points. <laughs> How am I supposed to reach that building? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Don't worry, I'll go with you. Alright, how do we get out of here? We can leave through the kitchen. Although, we need to unlock the door first. How do we unlock it? Hidden switch from my father's desk downstairs. Let's do it. Need to hurry up, though. My father and the cultists might come back soon. The dolls feel very... House for Alessa inspired. They're probably not. I'm probably just looking at it, but... I see your Easter eggs. That's the bathroom. We don't know if they... But what if I need to pee-pee boo-boo? Thinking your your father has a bit of an ego problem, my dear. I mean, fits hand in hand with the whole cultist aesthetic, doesn't it? Hidden switch. We can leave now. Let's go to the kitchen. Nothing in that one. Okay. Good lord, my lips are dry. I don't know why I said that out loud, that was meant to be an internal thought, that there was a microphone there and my brain thought, ooh, say the word Brian. Hey. Don't do it. It's the clone. Barbara's with her. Get him. How's about you suck my butt? Oh, they even give me an option to get caught by them. I could have drop kicked one or two of them. Scalpel. 120 years ago. There it is. Our new home. Ouch. What do you think? It's perfect. I already love it. I know you'd like it. We'll be very happy here. We'll finally be able to start a family. Nothing I could wish. More than becoming a father. I know you're just one man present, but still, I can already picture our family. Remember, if it's a girl, name will be Julia. If it's a boy, his name will be... Giliano. A week later. Something wrong. Something about this painting, almost hypnotic. I honestly hate it. Where did you find it? It was in the attic. Probably belonged to a pre previous family. Speaking of the attic, last night I heard some strange noises come from there. Don't worry, it's probably a rat. I'll take care of it tonight. Don't like the sound of a rat. It didn't sound like a rat, sorry. But I guess you must be right. It's not like the house is haunted or something, right? Come on, in this house? Haunted? The only thing that haunts me is the fact we still don't have a television. We'll be able to buy it eventually. You know, we need to save as much as we can. Yeah, yeah. Still need to prepare for the baby. We still have a lot of time, don't worry. Better go to work or I'll be late. See you later, babe. Have a nice day at work, darling. Don't want to look at that painting while I'm alone. Taking it back to the attic. Well, don't worry, buddy. You do. And stinks to your. Julia's room. This will be your baby's room. Yes, it will. This room feels empty. I'm going to get some paintings. Well, you do. They're just kind of fucked up, bruh. Well, I guess I wouldn't know, because this is technically the, the past, isn't it? I'm just talking about the robo-mothers. I'll put it here. What was that? Uh, 
the painting disappeared. No, the painting's still there. The figure in the painting disappeared. Hiya, bud. Hello there. What are you? I'm an angel, and I know a secret. There are two babies inside, you know. Babies? Two? Hi. I need you to do something for me. I need you to open your mouth. My mouth? Look into my eyes. Open your mouth. So Mr. Scalpel is Julia's twin then. Later that day. Is our baby okay? I understand you're worried since you found your wife unconscious in the attic. Nothing to worry about. She and the babies are perfectly fine. Babies? You mean there's two of them? Congratulations. They're twins. Fantastic. We're going to have two babies. We'll be a family of four. That's wonderful. Two babies. That's what the creature in the attic said. Probably a bad dream, but it felt so real. Did I faint because of the heat in the attic? Babe, we need to celebrate this best day of my life. Yes, of course, darling. Well, I mean, you're the only one that can drink, so chocolate for mother. Yeah. Eight months later. The wife and the baby's okay? Wife, the baby girl, Julia. Are all right. However, I'm afraid the boy didn't make it. He was born without organs and he had no vital signs. No, please, Doctor, don't tell me that. That can't be. I understand how hard this might be for you, but your wife and daughter need you. You need to be strong. Council and service can help you deal with your loss. Where's my son? Body was sent to the morgue. Morgue. His face. If it weren't because of his deformities, he'd look like me. He's alive. I knew it. The doctor's made a mistake. Don't worry, son. I'll get you out of here. No, if he's alive, that means you take him to the doctors and go, It moved. It's alive. Please help. A year later. This is inhumane. He's our son. We can't make him live in the attic. He's too different. Nearly bit my fingers off. He's like a wild animal. He doesn't even breathe. He's a miracle. It might hurt Julia and we can't allow that. I'm sorry, but the world can't know about our son. Julia must never know about the existence of her brother Gilano. Giliano. Nine years later. Please, you can't leave with a family. I'm sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I can't deal with this any longer. This isn't the family I dreamed of. We'll never be normal because of our dirty secret who lives in the attic. Not even Julia is normal. Never seen her open doors without even reaching. I've seen her open doors without even reaching the knob. Something very wrong with Julia and Giuliano. I can't bear this burden anymore. I beg you, don't leave me. I love you. We all love you. Send your money over two weeks. You'll be fine. I'm sure you meet someone now. seems we lost them. They wouldn't give up. We better keep moving. Need to reach a building where the Messiah is sleeping. You're right. Sure is a lot of skeletons. Is he a person? Hello? Person's passed away. Well, for the sake of the file size of these, I'm calling it here and I'll finish this next time. Hopefully the next time isn't just going to be a 10 minute video, but just to be on the safe side. If the same size of video was 27 gig, I don't want to chance this one being like 40. <laughs> this is linked in the description if you want to play the endings yourself before you watch my next video. But either way, the next video will be out tomorrow. Good luck. Take it easy.